is Jamaica number one news. Now Jamaica News and Line TV first at six. And here's what we're learning today. Man killed entertainer injured in Port Morgan attack. Bayesian national convicted of cocaine smuggling at Sangster Airport. Female vendor killed in West Kingston identified driver in custody after firearm reportedly found in his possession and man fatally shot girlfriend hospitalized in alleged Clarendon love triangle. One man was fatally shot and two others, including an entertainer, sustained injuries during an incident at a park in Greater Portmore, St. Catherine, on Monday afternoon. The dead man has been identified as 27-year-old Devante Palmer, otherwise called Messi, from Selborne Road in Greendale, Spanish Town and Seven West Addresses, both in St. Catherine. The two injured men, who are both from Seven West, have been admitted to hospital. Information reaching the news is that around 1.30 p.m., the three men were inside the community park smoking when a white Toyota Probox drove up. It is alleged that men, all armed with guns, alighted and opened gunfire on Palmer and the other two men before making their escape. All three men were hit in the upper bodies. Residents took the men to hospital where Palmer was pronounced dead and the other two admitted. One is in serious but stable condition while the other is critical. No motive has been established for the attack, the police said. A man convicted for cocaine smuggling at Sangster International Airport. A 40-year-old Barbadian was convicted for breaches under the Dangerous Drugs Act on Friday, November 17, 2023, for attempting to smuggle over 1.8 kilograms of cocaine into the United Kingdom through the Sangster International Airport in Montego Bay, St. James. Kelvin Charles, a carpenter from Bridgetown, Barbados, was arrested on Thursday, October 26, after customs officers allegedly discovered the illicit drug concealed in false compartments of his luggage during security screening procedures. He was subsequently charged with possession of cocaine, dealing in cocaine, and attempting to export cocaine. During his appearance before the St. James Parish Court on Friday, November 17, Charles pleaded guilty to all charges and was sentenced as follows. Possession of cocaine, $200,000, or six months imprisonment, attempting to export cocaine, 400000 or six months imprisonment, mandated mandatory imprisonment, six months, he was ordered to pay the fines immediately. Female vendor killed in West Kingston identified. The female vendor who was shot dead by armed assailants in downtown Kingston on Monday morning has been identified as Andrea Peterkin. Peterkin, otherwise called Apple, is of a Nelson Street address in Denham Town. Reports are that Peter King was seated on a chair in a shopping area in the vicinity of Pink Lane in West Kingston when she was shot in the face by armed assailants on a motorcycle. The incident happened at around 11.20 a.m. Another woman was reportedly also shot and injured. driver in custody after firearm reportedly found in his possession. A team of officers assigned to the Kingston Western Police Division seized one firearm during an operation on Marcus Garvey Drive, Kingston 11 on Monday afternoon. Reports are that about 1.15 p.m., lawmen were in the area when they saw the driver of a Toyota Pro Box with six passengers, including a woman, driving along the roadway. 
The driver was reportedly signaled to stop. He complied and all occupants of the vehicle were searched. During the search, a firearm was allegedly found in the driver's possession. He was subsequently taken into custody. His identity is being withheld pending further investigation. Man reportedly killed in love triangle. A 31-year-old man was shot dead and his girlfriend shot and injured in an alleged love triangle in Sandy Bay, Clarendon on Sunday. The suspect, who police has identified as ex-boyfriend of the woman, was subsequently held and taken into custody, the police report. The deceased man has been identified as Hannan George Jackson, a transport inspector of New Green, Manchester. It is reported that about 8.10 p.m., the deceased parked his great Toyota Pro Box motor car at the intersection of the Sandy Bay Main Road and Rose Hall Road to purchase food. A blue Toyota Mark X and a white Toyota Axio motor car drove up and stopped behind Jackson's vehicle. A man exited from the Axio with a handgun and fired several shots, hitting Jackson and his girlfriend. Jackson reported he received gunshot wounds to his upper body and succumbed to the injuries. The woman also reported he received gunshot wounds to her upper body and was taken to hospital, where she was admitted in serious condition. Reports are that the suspect in the shooting was subsequently held after he was found lurking around the hospital where the woman was being treated. Sloots theorized that Jackson and the woman were trailed to the area and subsequently attacked by the suspect and his cronies. Investigations are ongoing. Guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment down below.